Hi guys, this is Phantom Vacuum Fan. Um, I haven't had many new Phantoms over the last few months to do a video of. However, I do now. And I am very excited to have this one make its appearance because I actually had one very similar to it a year, a little over a year ago. And when it arrived, the handle was broken. This one made it in one piece. It is, sorry, I'm having to turn the camera sideways, but just to show the handles fully there. It is a Phantom Wildcat. Now, I have to admit, I can see how the handles would break because it's on properly and all, but it's got a little bit of, uh, yeah, you could just feel that it's not the most sturdy thing. But anyway, uh, the only thing wrong with it, really, other than it's got you know, minor signs of abuse, or not abuse, but of use, is I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the, here, let me take the hose off, right at like the very top, where is it? Right there, there's a small hole in the hose, but I can tape that up or you know, maybe come up with something, some way of fixing it. Uh, however, other than that, uh, it doesn't have any of its attachments, but my good friend Simon, aka Vacuums101 on YouTube, has two of the Westinghouse Unplugs, which which Phantom sold the molds for the Wildcat, and both Crosswind models to uh, Westinghouse, and the attachments are identical, just they're a blue instead of a green, or rather a silver as they would be to go with the green. Uh, but they will fit it, so he's going to send me one of the attachment sets, so I will at least have usable attachments. Um, he asked me to show, I guess there's a slight difference other than that the uh, unplugged is a cordless and the Wildcat is corded. Uh, the difference is he's not used to on his these buttons and lights here. So he asked me to show what they are. Uh, let me sit down in front of it. The first one over here is a reset button. This one right here is a light that says wash filter. And then over here is a brush roll status indicator. So if there's a jam or whatever, that will light up. Um, the Wildcat actually cleaned up very beautifully. There's like a small scuff there. There's a little dirt right there that I, I can get off. I just didn't even notice it, quite frankly. Uh, the whole thing, though, looks really nice. I can probably get that handle grip a little cleaner because it looks... I know it was supposed to be like a, like a goldish, but it looks a little dirty. Uh, but I can clean that. And the hose, you know, needs some cleaning, but... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll work on that stuff. Um, anyway, I don't want to make this video too, too long. So I'm going to do a video of it in action. So give me a second to plug it in. And then we will do the first prolonged running of the Phantom Wildcat. So give me one second. Okay, so, here we go. Let's see, it is in carpet mode. Release the handle. Oops, there we go. And press the power button. And it's nice and quiet. I might even just do half the room because I don't want to put too much stress on the handle. So, you know, because it is going to be a collectible. So I might just do like a real quick vacuuming with it rather than risking having something go wrong. There's a lot of stuff on the floor because I haven't vacuumed this room in a week because I've been expecting the vacuum to come in. 
but also because uh, the uh, there was some stuff from packing materials, like there's some styrofoam, the white dots you see on the floor. So, I'm actually really uh, impressed with it. It's doing, a, I mean, admittedly, it's probably not doing a great job of deep cleaning, but it's doing a nice job of uh, surface cleaning for sure. I still have to clean both filters, but uh, yeah, that's something minor. So. And the collection bin was completely empty of dust still. When I started, I had wiped it out. And you can see it's actually picked up a fair amount of fine dust, so. I'm actually almost done with the room, so I'll just finish it off real quick. Let me get the cord out of the way real quick. Get over here. Again, move the cord out of the way. I probably should have plugged in at a different location, but I just wanted to, uh, I was so excited I didn't even think about it, you know. Let's try it on this little rug real quick. Hold on, I have to lift it up. Okay. And by the way, I have, I, I told him I would, so in a minute I have to go make sure I get his YouTube channel right. I'm just going to pick up some kitty litter from over here real quick. But uh, the seller who sold it to me actually has a YouTube account and has commented on a couple of my videos. So I told him I'd include a special thank you to him uh, and his channel. So, and then I'll show the bare floor setting real quick. The brush roll is now off. And let's see if you can see that. I'm not sure you can. There's some kitty litter over there. And it is gone. So yeah, I'm gonna just get over here real quick. And now I'm going to yeah, end the video. Because like I said, I don't wanna make it too long and put any more stress on it than I have to. However, let's real quickly open it up and see what we picked up from that short amount of vacuuming. So, that is what the Wildcat picked up. Let me dump it out real quick. Probably not the best idea, but I'll dump it out on the counter and then just wipe it up. Stay there. So that's what the Wildcat picked up. Uh, sorry to make this so short, but like I've been saying, I just don't want to put too much stress on it. But this has been my Phantom Wildcat, the newest part to my collection. Thanks for watching. Bye.